Hey guys, so imagination. Um, I'm here. We are in Fire Alpaca, and um, so I saw this, and now some people will see it as one thing. I saw it as something completely different because, you know. So what am I talking about? Well, I know you're saying, John, it's they're blinds. What? You see blinds, I see a face. I see a face, and not just a face, but a face of a certain, uh, maybe perhaps a certain professor. Mr. Potter. So what am I talking about? Because, you know, so we can see an eye very well right here. So we have an eye, we have an eye that looks like it kind of goes more like that, you know, he's getting tired of Harry's bullshit. Um, right there. And it kind of looks like it goes a little bit like that. So we have an eye, a very like, or it looks like it's, you know, once it's colored in, it's like a tongue, like a face. But now we have the best part. It looks right here. Actually, let's, and keep in mind, I'm using a mouse. I had a uh, pad that I used, but the pen broke. It only came with like one pen. They came for replacements for the tip of the pen, but it only came with one freaking pen. So, yeah. But here we kind of see like a bridge of the nose. And then other side is kind of like darkened a little bit. But right here, you can see kind of it goes like that. And then up a little bit. And then we see kind of like down there. Now this really should be like right here. Because that's the right there that everyone has. Um, It should also kind of go more like that. But, you know, we'll just kind of draw it as we see it. Um. We got like that and right over here we have some wrinkles in the uh the blind it kind of looks almost like cheekbones and over here you can see one right down there that's another cheekbone right there and uh right here you know it, it's snape and so he's got this you know long thing of black hair right there again this is being done in you know with a freaking um mouse so lines are not going to be perfect um also anyone noticed that in chamber of secrets it wasn't in any other movie except for chamber of secrets did you notice how sweaty snape looked like it was he was sweaty his hair looked greasy and i'm like Sorcerer's Stone and every other movie after that, um, after Chamber of Secrets, he looked fine. But for some reason, Chamber of Secrets, he looked sweaty as hell, like the entire movie. When you first see him, you know, when he's, you know, got the newspaper up, you were seen by no less than seven muggles. You know, do you see how sweaty he is? Even when he's like in the scene with him on, uh, you know, dueling uh, Lockhart, he's fucking sweaty. When they're in the the hall and with the, you know, freaking Chamber of Secrets has been open and blah blah blah, or you know, with um with Filch and you know Filch's cat, Mrs. Norris. Every time he showed, he looks so sweaty. Like it was it extremely hot. Was it extremely hot? Um, but anyway, yeah. Actually, let's. Uh, I really should put it. I should have put it in two layers, because. Uh, probably a little smaller. And go ahead and color that in. Now. It'd be so much easier if I had the, actual paint tool to do that, but I. I didn't think of making separate layers. I just kind of did this as is. 
Um, now I don't know what eye color he has. I don't know if it's like, but I'm gonna do something that I think it would be more for Snape. Make a light silvery gray kind of color. No, that's not what I wanted. Um, uh, actually, could I add another layer to this? Actually, no, I think it has to go. Shouldn't be like that. Um. I mean, this is not meant to be perfect. But it's just to kind of show you imagination. Now there, and let's just fill in the little rest there. So, actually, it's more like anime eyes. You know, they'd have like the, the lines going through and kind of give the, the eye more detail. Um, it got this actually look, it's actually kind of a nice cover for like an album or something. You know, like Snape's on the cover or something. Snape started a band. It doesn't really matter with the hair. And there's some lipstick right there. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Potter. Um, and actually, if you want to go some further, we can kind of draw like right here would be like, uh, let's see. Like hair, like more hair. Um, yeah. Well, you know. You know what? Let's do this. It should be that should be black and let's do this. This will be white. We can actually use this. Actually, no, we can't. <laughs> let's actually go ahead and do. Oh, yeah. Um, and it doesn't actually it doesn't really matter. Okay, I fixed it there for a second. Um, and I actually had to look up. It, it says some people are saying it's, uh, that in the book it says gray eyes. Other people say no, it's actually black eyes. So we we'll just give him gray. Um, but if we want to go a little further. Um, again, it's kind of like the face over here, but, um, yeah. And don't ask, he only has, I, again, we draw it as we see it. So he only has one eye, but, um, kind of looks like there's something like right there. And then almost like down there and like down there, like it's a shadow or something. But, um, and then it looks because he's so tired of dealing with, with, with Harry's shit. You know, he's got, like, the bags under his eyes and, you know, and they're sunken in and all that. Um. Doesn't have eyebrows, obviously, on here, but. <laughs> and then if we were to actually make it more, you know, like a face, we, you know, draw some extra lines and another eye and stuff like that but you know so 
So what what was the point of this? Imagination. Uh, I just I was I was taking care of June and I saw. Um, I looked over and I saw that I'm like, that looks like our favorite favorite professor. And uh, so I took a picture of it and um, I'm like, okay, well, I was gonna do it yesterday, but then I forgot. So I'm doing it today. So, but yeah, no matter how old you get, sometimes if you want to, you can still use that imagination. Just because you're old doesn't mean you have to be boring and unimaginative. You can still use your imagination no matter what people try to tell you. You know, if you're, as long as it's not like one of those, you know, where you're like, what do they say? You're like forever young. You know, where you're constantly just acting like a kid. If you're one of those people like me who, who work, you know, and you're serious and you're professional, but then you come home and you want to act stupid, you're more than welcome to do that. You know, because you're being a productive member of society and life's too short to be serious all the fucking time, you know? So, but yeah, anyway. Random video, I know, but uh, I actually had a better random video well not better but a random video i just couldn't shoot it the proper way and it was a shame because i I'm, i'll eventually do it probably soon but i couldn't the angle wasn't great and it just it was it was annoying so i didn't do it anyway yeah also i have tiles on the floor in the bathroom that look like they have pictures on them so i mean you should be like yeah john show us uh some toilet Bat, you know, bathroom tiles. Well, not really tiles, it's linoleum on the floor. But, you know, they're made to look like tiles. And, um, you know, there's like three of them that can, you can clearly see some sort of picture. So. People see just a curtain. You know, shades and all that. And I see a face. People will look in the bathroom and just see like a linoleum floor that looks like tiles. I see pictures. So. I'm special. Anyway, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.